quick technical video for the QuasiDB service for um, Tuesday the 28th of July. Um, just going to go through some charts. I won't go through all of them as I've got lots of charts I'm looking at right now, but the ones of interest to me, um, I'll cover uh, cable, the pound USD, the euro pound, and the euro USD, Aussie USD, gold, and dollar yen. And I'll do Aussie yen as well. But the thing with um, the pound USD on a weekly basis, we do have a strong channel break. Now, that's that's quite bullish, but look what happened in this time period here. So 2019 December and 2020 March. So we spent some time above this um, trend line, but inevitably it fell and it couldn't quite break, if you see. It tried multiple times, but it just kept coming down and inevitably it did fall. No doubt that would have been Brexit related. So I'm thinking it's going to repeat. Um, so the level of interest there, if you're trading the pound USD, is 12668. And we see we're quite you know, strongly above. But look what happened here. It's multiple uh, failures. And then it fell. So what's quite interesting about this uh, super indicator, it plots your Fibonacci on uh, zigzags. So what happened here on the pound USD, we had a 38.2 Fib bounce, really strong at that point. And you, would, you wouldn't have seen that without this tool. This wouldn't have seen it at all. So there's your 38.2. And what it does, it creates like a um, bullish triangle. Like you see how there's like a break. At that point, he would have gone long, in theory. 38.2 support, pitchfork break, buy. You would have done quite well on that. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, it's like 1,000 pips or something. Yeah, yeah, you would have made a lot of money on that fib bounce. So just keep an eye on uh, one, two, six, six, eight. And uh, I think it's going to come back down again. So we'll see if the dollar reawakens. And the Dixie is was oversold on uh, the daily. So um, see what happens there. Here a pound with uh, bearish Gartley. It's quite large. And so the level of interest there is your support at 9107 and your resistance 9139. Now what it does to superindicate it, it creates um, a thing called the shift channel. And the anchor point is halfway on the previous um, zigzag. So this is your, that's the zigzag which it plots. This is the halfway point. And so it projects a, because we know where the, the low is. Let's grab that if it lets me. <laughs> no, stupid MetaTrader. There we go. So it, it knows the that low, the higher low. So it projects a resistance up there. So it's perfect at distant channel. And you see how there's like a confluence line there. So um, quite bearish, to be honest. I'm looking to have a break, I think, around about here. 9082. So um, pending that breaks, we could see a pitchfork break. And we might see a channel break as well. This is the H4 chart. So, yeah, if it breaks that, then uh, it, it qualifies the uh, harmonic, which is bearish. So that's that. The Euro, USD. Uh, let's zoom out a bit. So, yeah, we are um, a bearish ABCD. That invalidates if we crack above 117.92. Um, this is the shift channel. So let's go and get the tool. There we go. So because it knows it's uh, the higher low, it then projects uh, your resistance, <coughs> which obviously it cracked. And up there. Yeah, so you would have made a lots of uh, pips on that move as well. Yeah. So. Um, 117.35, and then don't forget your bearish harmonic, and 118.42 is your pitchfork resistance. 
Um, so what it should do, it should do something like this. If this, if that holds true, we'll get a harmonic like this, where um, it does something like this. See, and we we'll go there again. So I think it would be like a shark pattern. But it's going to fall, and we'll have some support on the shift channel. So what I'll leave this on here, see if it actually goes to plan. This, this will happen if that doesn't break. Right, so keep an eye on 117.91, and we could see potentially a buy opportunity at 114.09. Uh, yeah, so it might hold support here on the pitchfork. Um, I see dollar. Um, this is a risk sensitive one. If you look at the spreadsheet on the risk calculation, we could potentially be going to risk off by Friday. If so, this is going to fall. So the level of interest, if you're trading this one, is your resistance is 71.42 and your support is 17.94. There's your red zone support at 69.50. Now it might come down and test that. If it breaks below, then it validates this bullish sequence. So that's your support. That's a key one. All right. Uh, so yeah, it looks quite bearish. This is your fair take point two resistance, 71.42. Good gold. Um, so we saw a big uh, stop hunt, as you've seen. And now uh, by doing so, it's uh, liquidated the bears. And now the ratio is looking a little bit more healthy. The ideal uh, state for any currency pair or symbol is 50-50. And it just was so far off skew, it had to get shift the you know the flotsam and jetsam off the off the boat. So it got rid of the bears and now it's looking 50-50. So by doing so, uh, it's gonna be like a bearish move because it's uh, it's it's kicked them off the boat. And now we're going to see like an equilibrium, like a balance. So where that 50-50 uh, line is, we don't know yet. As long as um, they try and buy the dip, if they buy it, then that's great. Then it'll come to sell. And if they do go long, then we could see um, so a shift channel support. Uh, it's quite low down. See, there's a confluence there on the lower pitchfork with the shift channel top. So there's a line of confluence, and that's 1884. And remember to use your moving averages and VWAPs and stuff like that, but I try and keep it uh, quite clean just with the pitchfork. So that would be a level of interest. And now it's got rid of the bears, and we're seeing like a state of equilibrium, then um, it's looking a little bit more healthy. So it had to go up to get rid of those guys. Um, so it's, it's very, very cruel. Um, and if you got caught out on it, then it sucks. It's pretty horrible. You just have to be careful when it gets to 50-50. If it goes over, then you'd want to be careful, but you don't hold on to your losses. And this is punishment for those guys who hold on to their losses. So that's that. I'll do two more. Dollar yen and then um, Aussie yen. So um, the do dollar yen. If you remember on the pound USD, we had a 38.2 support. You might have to rewind the video. That was a weekly cable chart, and it, what happened was a 38.2, and we had a healthy bounce on the 38.2. Could happen again 104.92, and one, your resistance 107.26. Uh, it's a bearish ABCD, but we might potentially see a Fib bounce there, and if not, then we might see a channel support. If that breaks, then we've got the median line support 103.60. Now that would be a buy there, as long as that held. Um, so that's that. Aussie yen. We overstretched somewhat. We should really be within the uh, pitchfork. Um, we had a shift channel break, and at that point it would have been nice to go long. So there's your daily chart. So you'd have made a good pips if you got that one. And so resistance 77.31 and your support 74.29. I'll just quickly talk about the indices. So if you're not trading indices, then you can just stop the video now. I'll just do the Dow Jones Industrial Index and DAX. Um, let's have a quick look at these two. 
So here's the Dow Jones. A bearish dragon is essentially a diagonal break. And so that's what that means. It can be a higher high or a lower high. It doesn't really matter, but it's just to say you had a strong diagonal break there, and that's what that bearish dragon means. There's your X, A, B, C, D. B is important. It's like the body of the harmonic. There's your support, and there's a confluence with the median line. So 2, 6, 4, 2, 8. Assistance 26703 and your support 26530. Um, those are two levels. It, it potentially, see how we had a 23.6 resistance there. Yeah, maybe sideways, but keep an eye on the uh, risk calculation. And uh, if it does go risk off, then we'll break this body of the harmonic and we'll fall. Uh, so that's the Dow Jones. DAX. Um, so there's your median line. One two eight seven one. There's your shift channel low. One two nine oh seven. We are above that now. That's if I zoomed in. Do do. Yeah. Here we go. One two nine oh seven. So pending that holds above that, then we could be quite bullish. There's some resistance at one two nine seven eight. It's a, quite a bullish uh, channel, and the pitchfork is ascending. So, um, yeah, and if you want me to look at any other indices or anything like that, NASDAQ or, um, I don't know, like UK100, the FTSE, just let me know. Um, just a quick one, don't want to talk too long, and uh, hope you have a good day, and hopefully uh, these things pan out, especially this harmonic. It could well happen, we'll have to wait and see on the EURUSD. And have a good day.